Starting the vlog off right, guys. <laughs> I need to do something with this. Yeah. Should we show them your barbershop, the new barbershop? If you'd like. It then looks, it's been a minute. It looks, looks great. You did great. We need to get a tattoo person in here, too. So this used to be the lobby of fitness culture. Now, hey, what's the actual barbershop called? Oh, <laughs> it is yet to be named, but it's got good, it's got good lighting in here. Let's see what we got. This is like Christmas all over again. All this stuff's gonna be super old. I just had a box of Gymshark stuff down there. It's probably like two years old. Morgan said these aren't hers. They're sure small. Who else will they do, babe? Are there any other girlfriends? I know it's old because Gymshark doesn't Never put do tags time, anymore yeah. on things. So I'm saying this is at least three years old. Maybe four. Oh, babe. I definitely mine. So this is yours? Yeah. So that's yours too. Yeah. So they are. This is yours. It's crazy to see Gymshark has come so far a long way. My stuff is still my favorite. <laughs> Sorry. What are these? What are those? <laughs> what a, is that? Head? I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna train it, in no, that today. Stick I'm gonna it. train in that today. It, Don't tell me I can't. You're gonna rip it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But does it kind of look fire? Like it, you kind of look like a hottie. Like I should be doing a TikTok dance. You actually would look really cute. Though. Stop. Hold on. You could fit these. You I don't just, have a I big booty. Like this thing caps my delts a little bit. I could not fit those. You could. All right, this is happening. Oh, this is hard. I look, I look hot AF. Huh? <laughs> Please don't do that. Huh? Somebody's going to fall out. No, everything's tight in there. Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the green. <laughs> The green and purple. I've never had anything green and purple. Yes. I gotta go work on the abs though. This one's kind of fire too. I'll have that one. You will? Yeah. I was about to try it on. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Strength Collective season one. This is back before we called it Strength Collective even. This was still the Steve Cook. So this is my gym bag, guys. Look at this thing. These guys sent this to me. And we both have been using ours nonstop. Straps in there. Got some Gymshark bands. Tripods, more straps, knee my knee sleeves. These are actually kind of cool. This company also they sent us clean free. I know they yeah, sent some. So they're little good. wipes. You yeah. literally like if you come back up here and you want to work. We use them all the time. And then these also have a slot for shoes. I keep a spot for my AirPod headphones in there. A spot for the shaker bottle, and then like for us, usually a camera because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I've been really. <laughs> MIA on YouTube. I feel like I have to keep my core tight. If I was a high school cheerleader in this, I would be like, oh no, I'm not flexing. Go fight when. <laughs> what? Just let go. Let loose. <laughs> this is proper old school. It truly this is, is like 2017. That uh, looks great, actually. I like that. The combo, the right? No. The combo? No. The combo looks great. No. I heard it here. I'm gonna do a collab with Nick Bear, and I'm gonna wear these when we run. Steve Weatherford, Nick Bear, eat your heart out. Cause I know you guys both love your three inch shorts. This morning I, I weighed 205, so super light right now. It's a lot of golf. You guys can see the golf tan line. Let's go train. I changed out of my awesome outfit, even though I should have stayed into it. Um, right now we're gonna do a little bit of mobility. Been working a lot more mobility more than I ever have been, so today, we're doing a little couples mobility. I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what we do. If you guys actually wanna see the full mobility video, you can go over to Morgan's channel. We'll tag that here. Yep, she has YouTube too. But you see a lot of uh, uncut Steve on that YouTube video. He's not prim and proper no more. All right, let's do this. I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Man, so tough, but must keep walking. I don't think I can do that. No, you shouldn't try. Steven. I know, just spot me here for a second. Spot you? Uh, oh, oh yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, baby. Oh. How'd I do? Ten I was so ten. scared. Just too sharp with the boys. Don't tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Act like fire on the pine. If you wanna touch my feet, use caution. All right, today is a core and arm day on the app. So I'm following actually the Wash It Up program. Still gotta decide if we wanna keep that name or not. It's for somebody who's used to the gym, may have been an athlete before, getting back on it, or someone who's looking to kind of maintain a more of an athletic body, but also apply metrics on there. Today's more of like an explosive core day. For me, I love it for gaining strength, holding on to size, and then also staying explosive. We're gonna be hitting three movements right now. So we have a high to low wood chop, 
a low to high, and then we have V-ups. We're gonna be working through those three exercises in a circuit set fashion, and then taking a rest in between. Ab work today, it's 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 core. It's not just abs, it's core. So we're gonna jump into it. Next up, we've got a minute weighted plank followed by GHR sit ups and bicycle. So, we got again three round circuit training style. It's gonna be it for core before we jump into to arms and essentially, you know, really focusing on core training as a whole and not just abs because being athletic, whether it's golf, whether it's running, you're using stabilizing muscles. So it's important to have a strong core, not just an attractive core. Now, luckily they do go hand in hand, but you can have an attractive core without having a strong core. Definitely working on these types of movements that I didn't always do. You know, I kind of would steer clear of anything that I thought would make my obliques bigger. I realized there's a happy medium. So you can train to have an explosive strong core, and that's gonna save that lower back in the long run for me, because again, my lower back always kind of issue have gotten it strong enough to where, and mobile enough to where, you know, things like planks before, it actually start hurting the lower back. So now, <clears throat> in a much better place. Elbows just underneath the chest. We're gonna hold here for a minute, squeezing the butt cheeks, keeping the abs nice and tight, back flat. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was so, so. Straight into our GHR sit-ups. Love this one, I mean, massive stretch. And the abs here, booties hanging off slightly. Hands go up over the head. Core contracts here, as well as the flexors. To spring me up, and stay up, over the head too. As you can see at the bottom, my lower back is as extended as it's, it's gonna get. So the core though, is keeping that, really kind of feels like I got a weight belt on. I'm keeping that core nice and tight as I do these. Tight, tight, tight. Last one, bicycle thing. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we're not just leaning all the way back. We gotta be in that crunch position here. 15 each leg, so total of 30. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was soon, soon. And rest for 60 seconds. Core is done. Whew. I also have some arms right now, but we're gonna breeze through those and then go eat. Fitness culture programs. All of them are hard. We've designed every single one of them to be hard. So if you guys have any questions on any of those programs, you can definitely hit me up on this video here. All right, guys. So we're here now at a, my home away from home. I have the home, the gym, this. This is the TrackMan studio. It's here in St. George, it's called the T-Box. You have crazy technology in TrackMan, how it, how it basically gives you so much data. So I've been doing a lot of this the last three years, getting the swing dialed in. I get a lot of questions right now. Steve, how, you know, what is your stock yardages? Well, first off, I play Callaway Forge CB irons. They're pretty legit. I had another set that was more of a player improvement club. These are similar to actually what John Rom hits. They're forged. My loft on my seven iron is a 33 for you golf heads out there that love knowing all that good information. What I'm gonna do right now is we work that core, we work mobility, and as an athlete, you know, we all grow up, a lot of us play sports. Then you get older and you start working out in the gym and you forget how to be an athlete. So I think the thing I love about the most recent program that I'm doing right now, that washed up one, we're, the, the, the stuff we're doing in the gym translates to golf, to tennis, to playing hoops, just everyday life. And I'm always big about being an athlete, being an instrument, not just an ornament. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna hit each of my clubs, give you guys the distances. Elevation, which plays a huge role, is set to what St. George is, which is 
2,860 feet. So not super, super high. We are in Utah mountains, but not sea level either. Keep that in mind. Got my 58 degree here. And uh, yeah, we'll hit we'll hit a couple shots so we can get some numbers on what my swing speeds are. And again, with my wedges, I'm not gonna swing super fast, but it'll give you an idea. 58 degree carrying 112, total 114. Um, and I do notice like out on the course, depending on wind and everything, I hit this club about 115. I have my 54 degree now, kind of the same thing. This is a wedge. This should be my 125. That one went 129. I'm a little bit faster on the track, man. Maybe it's just because I'm, you know, aware of the numbers. I swing a little bit harder, but a little bit longer. 50 degree. You know, the biggest thing with wedges too is I really want to be able to put these three of them in the exact same spot. You can hit your wedges far, but if they're not accurate. 140. This is typically my 135 club. We'll jump up to the pitching wedge, but you can see how cork is a huge play in resisting rotation, which builds torque, and then releasing it at the correct time. We have, you know, kind of a, a build up here that, that we're loaded. It's like a rubber band. And then through proper sequency, I have, you know, some lag, and then I release it. When you do it with a proper sequence, you hit the ball pretty far. Pitching wedge, this should go right around 150-ish, plus or minus a couple yards in here. It might be a little bit long. Got that one fat. Total 145, carry 140 there. I am hitting a Pro V1, not a Pro V1X, just the Pro V1. I am I'm hitting the ball well today. Maybe because I had that range of motion, especially with some of those core movements. Nine iron can get up to 165, 170, typically out on the course. Nice loose hands, just feeling that wind up. And then I'm not gripping the club too hard. That's that's about my standard nine iron. That felt good. In here, <laughs> 167 carry, 171.6 total. So again, everything's a little bit hot in here right now. We'll go eight. And I just moved the ball slightly. Like my eight iron had placed slightly one ball forward of middle of stance. And I'm really concentrating on right now keeping this lead heel down covering that ball. This club should be my 180 club out on the course. Oh, the carry of 175, total 180. The faster you swing, the less control you have. Seven iron. The longer you get with irons, the harder they are to hit them. That's probably a normal seven. Yeah. This is about my 190, 195-ish. And I'm definitely faster now than when I started. I thought, I guess you get the proper movements down and stuff like that. That's part of it, but it's also just more of these, these proper drills. Six iron. My six iron should be my 205 club. Oof. I think honestly, I think that, that core workout has me hitting things long because it's a 219 carry with a six iron, 232 total. My club path, pretty much three to five in to out. If you're a big golf nerd, you'll know what I mean. Four iron here. 240 carry, and this is my 225 club. So yeah, I'm just just hitting things well right now. Hard thing about a four iron, if you don't hit it well, it only goes about as far as your seven iron. We're gonna jump straight to the big boy. Everyone wants to see how fast the driver goes. My driver, 44 and a half inch, so it's cut down a little bit. The goal for me is to, you know, always try to carry my drives 300. 281, I'm kind of going back and forth right now between a Rory type swing and a Xander Shoffley. Xander Shoffley's right here and he's just turning it, squaring it up with his body. Rory, a little bit cupped, body and a big release. So the Rory weighs a little bit faster, but a little bit less accurate. So we're gonna go Xander on this one. 174 ball speed, 309 carry, 338 total. That would be a good drive for me. Biggest thing here, with this swing, I'm not releasing with as much of my hands. I'm just turning and releasing high to low. Driver, it's a little bit more low to high, but either way, very similar to what we're doing into the gym right now. We're gonna try to just really let this one go. 297 carry. All right, we're gonna go to our, our Rory, Rory type swing. A little bit more cupped. 
304, 119. So the club speed went up by uh, almost two miles an hour. 316. That's the furthest, furthest ball I've hit today. I think we can get over 170 or 180 ball speed though. That wind up, I'm feeling it in this lat, shoulders pointing down, and from here it's just transferring and all of that stuff that we do in the gym translate, you know, onto whatever playing surface. If it's all ground force, it's being able to be quick at the right time. So I think we got one more in us. The key is to relax the arms. Being a bodybuilder, you want to tense, you just gotta relax. Smooth is quick. That was it hard. 183.5 fastest ball speed. Oh! That's the furthest ball I've ever hit in a simulator. 331.6 carry. That is what happens when you have correct training with something you love. Let me know if you guys want to see more golf stuff. I love doing the, the workout stuff. My goal right now, hit my bodybuilding stuff four days a week. In between there, I'm always doing my cardio, doing my core, and then staying athletic, playing sports, pickleball, golf. Hopefully, uh, we're going to get out there. There's a long drive event. I'm not saying I'm going to do long drive. Those guys are on another level, but they have longer shafts. It'd be interesting to, to do a collab with one of them and get into like a 48 inch shaft or 47 inch shaft and see if I couldn't get uh, the ball speed up to about 190 and then that carry over 360. That's the goal. And eventually that 200 number, I'm going to get that. But anyhow, appreciate you guys watching. If you golf, leave in the comments below what you guys want to see more of. Maybe a what's in the bag, a total what's in the bag. Appreciate you guys watching. See you next time. If I get a hole in one, we're, uh, we're at a party. All night. All night. Go. Go. Oh! Fuck, that was so good. <laughs> Look where I landed. How did that not go in the hole?